Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Sans exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Exempt transitoire. Sans exempt transitoire. Exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Et exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Et exil transitoire. Pour exil transitoire. Sans exil transitoire. Pour exil
Um, right. So today's stream is brought to you by a sponsor, and the sponsor of today's stream is Spoons, IKEA brand Spoons. These delightfully spoony spoons can help you in all situations, okay? Don't forget to spoon up goodness with IKEA brand spoons. See? Really good, okay? Thank you to IKEA for sponsoring this stream. It would have been a lot funnier if I had any fucking charisma. Anyways, okay, whatever. So, uh, here we go. Um, all right. Uh, Perry, please send uh, SoundCloud links in the future. Um, ah, shit, I forgot to do the Patreon one first. I'll just remember. How would you guys feel if I started like trying to sell you shit every time we did this stream? All right, everybody, don't forget to buy my car. Buy Nike shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna start. We're gonna turn this into the shopping network. <laughs> and today's on today's stream, we have a, this wonderful dress. <laughs> Either you can get the whole dress for just five ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. All right, you guys know the rules, okay? Yeah, it does still work. So we're gonna get this person first, and then we're gonna get, where's our other person? Mr. Wolves of the Wireframe Variety. Yeah, uh, put the Patreon in the, in the title. Otherwise, I might miss it. Um, what track you just played before with the French vocals? <laughs> the, dress, the dress is five centimeters. <laughs> um, um, yeah, the track with the vocals was... Uh, it's a remix... Vinu, Vinu, Exil Transitoire, I think, Wolk Remix, I think it's something like this, here we go, oh, you can hear it on Bandcamp too if you prefer, but yeah, this is the track. Okay, we already listened to it, so we don't have to listen to it again. Uh, gonna make this bigger, and let's get the party started. Started. Start. Started. Okay, here we go.
very, very cool. There's some really great sounds in there. Yeah, I'm sort of with you that like I feel like it's the development that needs a bit of work. It's like um It's interesting cuz when I skip through it it feels like they're quite the sections are quite similar but when we were listening it felt like there was kind of quite a few like sort of major changes. Um structure it a bit more consistently. Um, stuck in the same melody too long. Just these two or three notes and nothing more. Yeah, yeah, that could be a nice thing of changing the bass note with the same melody or whatever, changing everything. That's always a fun thing to do. Um,. Yeah, I don't think anything crazy needs to be done. Like, I think you did the most of the work. You've created the sound world. You've got all these great things to play with. Now, I think you can just let yourself a bit more loose and play with them a bit more, right? Um, yeah, in the middle part. Yeah. I think also, like... Um, yeah, it might be helpful to sort of think about, okay, so, because if this is the goal, then like, like, yeah, it's, it's sometimes it can be helpful to think of like, what's the big reveal of the song? Not that every song needs to have just one or that it's always has to be structured like that, but I think the reason that I think it's helpful to think of it that way is that then you can kind of make it so everything's sort of building towards that. It's an easy way to kind of build structure into something that if it feels like it's lacking it. So another way of doing this is like, because this part feels a bit bigger than, than this middle part here, um, I think you could have like a more tensiony sort of build and then drop into this first this could be a bit longer and then we go into this section you know so you put the sort of strong stronger part first uh because if you want to do it this way where you're always building a little bit a little bit a little bit then i think like you want to get well no i mean it, it's already kind of, it's already kind of working so it's not like i can say like oh don't do the anything Thing that you're doing because it's all it is sort of working but i think you can get more mileage out of these sections by maybe putting this part first yeah and then you can sort of resolve this by putting some other melody or something on top of it just moving shit around maybe yeah, cool. That was wicked. Okay, wireframe wolves.
lol. Uh, I was saying this feels like a really good starting place. And I think there's a lot of really good stuff in there. Um, I think you can emphasize some of the stuff uh, more intensely. Let's see if I can just like... Oh, fuck, sorry. thing Oops. I don't want to get stuck doing this and also my okay so say we're we've got a little little loop like that um, I'm just trying to keep it simple here so I think sometimes you can really get a lot of mileage by like, you can go and then sweep up. Sometimes these things can be handy. Sometimes it's a bit of a disaster to try to get it to sound nice. But, but just like that control of um, of like uh, control of the the um, amount of each kind of frequency range. And then the other thing I would say is like we did a bunch of that effect stuff in the lesson I think that's the that stuff would be like the next step in here too um yeah just I guess what I'm saying with this is like remember that not each hit has to be like full frequency thing you can actually get away with a lot less than it might it might think or it might feel like you can but yeah I think this is really cool <laughs> And the rhythm is really cool. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do one of these. Stinkwood.
very cool. Yeah, nice. Um, I think my main feedback is, I guess, a personal taste thing. It's like... I don't really like those kind of kicks with the... <laughs> where there's like less of the... I feel like it happens when you have a... Like... <clears throat> this um if you have like your pitch envelope go down too fast or something where is the thing i'm trying to do um oops i'm just gonna take off the tail here yeah so i feel like sometimes you miss the like the meat of the kick gets kind of taken away. I guess you could do it like this also. Um, yeah, and we sort of miss some of the, oh, that's fun. We miss sort of the, some of the fun, like uh, that, that, that in the kind of low mids, like the 100 hertz around there sort of stuff that I feel like is a nice like, this. <laughs> um, but that's just the kick, so that it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> the other thing, I think like this rhythm could be more interesting, because you have so many interesting things going on in the, in this, in the melodic stuff. I feel like this is one of those scenarios where I would take out the beat now and rewrite it now that all the other stuff is written. Because there's so many different places where you could have some nice little bits and bobs. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyways. Yeah. Cool. I really like it. Uh, Alright. Uh, we got Renegade Android. Who... Are, is, are they at work now? Okay, it's okay. We'll listen to them.
Nice. Uh, yeah, I really like the song. I think it's cool development, and I like the ideas and stuff. Um, I think you can work a little bit on the, like, f finessing the drum sounds so they pop a little bit more. Um, yeah. Maybe using kind of more hi-fi samples for the drums would be would be a nice place to start maybe um, you could think about blending that distorted kick drum like the gabber kick with the drums a little bit more maybe <laughs> some of your drums is he here still I don't know if he's here still um if there's an LFO on the panning of one of your drums I'd recommend taking that off Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, someone said the synth above is really in style, I think, but I feel like it could fit better with the rest of what's happening behind it. And I kind of agree with that. This synth kind of took me off guard a little bit, I think. Oh wait, it's the same one. Yeah, I think you could kind of build out the atmosphere a little bit more. Yeah, it's a good question how, I don't, I don't really know. Okay. But yeah, cool track. And thank you for the sub, gifting a sub to Just Bask. Every birthday, a stab in the back. Nice.
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is really nice. Also, I think... Some of this stuff you can make a little less mono, and uh, I think a little bit less distortion would also be nice, but whatever. And then, um, and then I also feel like once you go to this, it's kind of hard to keep go go all the way back to like this kind of stillness, you know. I would say like maybe the vibe or the move would be like if you want to go down after this then you just got to start like ramping up the tension to get here or whatever to do your kind of this is also a cool idea of like just kind of going to silence or whatever and then um but i think you kind of got to move through that stuff a bit faster because it's pretty long that's a whole minute and 15 seconds from here to here um, and, yeah, I mean, there's Zambian tracks that are longer than that and do less, but I think it's the reason that it's hard to make it work like this, where you have kind of both, is that you have, you're sort of like, <clears throat> those two vibes are sort of fighting each other. Whereas if you're listening to a whole album of ambient stuff, then you're sort of expecting stuff to happen slowly. But then as soon as you throw this at us, we sort of start expecting things to happen a bit faster. And then I think that's why this part falls apart a little bit because it's like, you already kind of told us like, we might go fast. <laughs> and then so it makes it hard to wait in this part because it feels like that an intermission before another beat thing, I think. <clears throat> um, and yeah, and then I think you can do this part for longer. Because yeah, that part's really cool. Um, but yeah, cool. You know, and also with this kind of shit, if you ever get stuck, just throw in them ARPs. Just a little down, 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 down. <laughs> to open up the the low pass. And bagadoosh. Done. Bing, bang, boom, as I like to say. Okay. Uh, and now, uh, sure, whatever. I'm going to decline cookies. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, so this is sedatic. Said with their song Exo Materia Demo.
Okay, very cool. Um, there's a couple things I just wanted to check in on. What is going on there? Okay, so one thing is like, I really don't recommend putting your glitch stuff on a, um, on like a LFO panning sort of uh, channel. It just makes it really disorienting. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, maybe not today, numbers. <laughs> um, okay, anyways. So yeah, I really don't recommend putting it on a on like with the LFO on the panning, it just makes it really confusing to be honest. But if you want to take a book out or a page out of the book of like kind of drummer recording type shit, one trick is to just set up a couple tracks where you have like the panning sort of just spread out over the whole range. And now if you've got all your little chops in here, then it's really easy to move stuff around from left to right. Right? So we can just pop, like, say we have a little group of glitchy whatevers. Um, then we can, we can take, like, we can say, like, oh, okay, maybe we start with this, and then we're going to have, well, the snare and the kick are probably going to want to be in the middle. But then for each one of our little chops, then we can kind of move it around in the stereo field just by just kind of popping it in different places around here um so suboptimal for like uh, say you have a smooth like this is actually a really kind of crap example so but say you have a smooth sound like that's one big sound right so that you know you could do for example with the panning envelope here or we maybe we go like Right? And then don't do this. This is a fucking disaster. Um, no? Yeah, so this thing is maybe more for just like these little percussive sounds. So if we were to do something like this, then we could maybe do that here. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do it like this and then. Bagadaboosh. Now we have the little spin around or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, line is pretty big. There's like a... There's... Uh, it's not so bad, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven tracks in line. I'll put that at the end there. Um, okay. Anyway, so that's, yeah, kind of my two cents about that. The other thing that I would look out for is, like, in your track, it felt like there was a lot of this sort of, like, high, um, like, almost felt like... Okay, so, yeah, it almost felt like there was, like, a lot of this kind of high there let's say like high lows <laughs> like high uh like there wasn't that many like low low sounds whereas i think a fun part of this stuff is like that you can go pretty fucking this is again a bad example but you could throw a bass in there and you could get pretty goddamn low y'all go way the fuck down here Let's do this.
past this other thing, though. Anyways, whatever. That's besides the point. Um, so, yeah. So, just some a couple little things to think about. The panning thing and the... And the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And we'll have a little BRB moment. And then we'll come back to this stuff. So... Here's the BRB screen, and here is the BRB music. Falling silence, silence. 
I'm back, but I have a minor, um, minor issue here. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, you know, I've been away for a while. Um, anyways, okay, so yeah, so here's the current situation. My friend just called. My friend that I hung out with a couple of days ago just called and said that he tested positive for COVID. Hold on, let me aim this at my mouth so you can see my mouth moving. So, yeah. Um, and it's really cold outside today, so I don't really want to walk to a pharmacy that's far away to get a test. So I was going to go to the one that's close here, but the one that's close here closes soon. So that's, uh, that's the current situation. I don't really know what to do with that. Maybe, yeah, and then my other friend is visiting from out of town. Which really sucks, because, like, if I have it, then that means I gave it to her. And my girlfriend went into work on the other day, so she gave it to her work people. So if we have it, then we're super spreaders, for sure. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, sorry about that. Uh... <laughs> Um, hopefully I don't have it, although I'm like triple vaxxed, so I think it's going to be okay. We're all triple vaxxed in here, so I think it's going to be okay. So we'll play a little bit of outro music, or that was kind of the outro music, and maybe this time we will actually do the tracks that we didn't get to this week, we'll do next week. So that is starting with... Shibari and onwards. <laughs> uh, wait. wait, what the fuck? Where is this Shibari? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So, yeah, so we've got a bunch. Or maybe we'll do a track review stream during the week or something. Like another one. We could do it in the evening for all the North American people. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. So anyways, so yeah. So just a little reminder, these are the people that we're going to do next time first. So yeah. And don't, uh, you know what they say, don't pray for me, Argentina. Or no, don't cry for me, Argentina. What's that song called? Okay, anyways, so here's the outro. Thanks, everybody. And if I die, then uh, uh, I'll make sure to give someone my computer and my passwords so that they can post all the unreleased stuff. <laughs> Boom! Yeah! Okay, see you soon.